Welcome to our short video introducing the Zoom breakout rooms. Breakout rooms allow you to split your conversation into smaller groups to facilitate discussions or even one-to-one -one conversations. It's worth noting that this facility is only available on the paid for version of Zoom and then only to the host or the co-host of the meeting. Breakout rules can be prepared in advance of your session when you schedule the meeting. Just scroll down to the meeting options and tick the box marked breakout room pre-assign. You can then create rooms by following the instructions, which will make more sense when you've watched this video. However you create your breakout rooms, to open them you go to the breakout rooms button, which appears at the bottom of your screen when you move your mouse. Once you click the breakout rooms button, the Create Breakout Rooms box will appear, unless you've preset your rooms as mentioned before. You can select how many rooms you want. So if you had 20 people in your conversation and you wanted groups of four, you might choose five rooms. If you select Assign Automatically, then the computer will normally assign people to a room randomly. Alternatively, you can assign manually or you can let people choose their own rooms. For most purposes, I would recommend either automatic or manually assigning. But if you like chaos, let people choose their own. Next, click the Create button. Having created the rooms, you can rename them. Maybe if each room has a specific task, like Case Study, Case Study 2, or similar. You can also delete a room if you've made too many. You can assign people to rooms manually or check who has been assigned by the computer just in case those two who never get on are somehow in the same room. There are a number of options available by clicking the options button bottom left. These include setting a time limit for breakout rooms, in this case 30 minutes, and also setting how long the countdown will be from when you close the rooms to give people time to stop talking and to prepare to come back into the main room. Once you open the rooms, people can join them by clicking on the invitation that appears on their screen. As host, you can see the list of rooms and if you wish, you can join specific rooms to see how people are doing and then leave and come back to this screen. Should you need to send a message to all the rooms, like don't forget to have a drink before this session ends, then you can type it in the broadcast to all button. Press broadcast message, type in your message and press broadcast. Once the time has elapsed, you can close all the rooms and a note will appear top right to say that everyone has been given, in this case, 60 seconds to leave their rooms. And that, as they say, is all there is to it. Don't be afraid to play with the system. You can't break it, and it's the best way to learn. Happy Zooming.